pumped? In a world where only survival matters, the greatest warriors from every corner of the Outlands compete for fame, <laughs> fortune, and glory. There's just one problem. The archer? They play by the rules. Here comes a little old school. Walter Fitzroy is Fuse. Oh. I like how old school this is. He was born into a world ruled by chaos, and he thrived in the mayhem. <laughs> the champion of Salvo has arrived. Oh, yeah. This February. Here comes the Mamalar. <laughs> Yo, this shit was bad. I gotta watch that again before I go crazy. Okay, so I was checking out the video like three to four fucking times because it's such a badass video, dude. This dude is OP. He is overpowered. He's uber as fuck. <laughs> uber. Listen, he's talking to me like it's Pokemon. But anyways, yo, this dude is fucking powerful. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't show us the gameplay style. But I think that's later. That's going to be a later trailer. They're just showing us, you know, the bullshit that's happening. A lot of explosions anyways. Uh, that rifle looks pretty sick. It looks like, it looks like it's gonna be another triple take, but it's an assault rifle. Okay, so looking back at Fuse and everything like that, so, I have some things. I know we haven't seen his abilities yet, and that's gonna be till later, but here's his tactical. I noticed that when he takes something off his wrist, there's a bunch of explosions happening around these team, this team right here, this enemy team here. I noticed that that looks like the cluster missile in Titanfall. Now, if you guys probably never played the first Titanfall, which probably most of you never did, uh, in the first Titanfall, there was a rocket that you were able to use called the cluster rocket, and it shoot it shot one big rocket, and that rocket blew up into, like, firecrackers. It was better to use on pilots who escaped the Titan and went into, like, a building. And you just shot it up and it just exploded all around here. That's what it looks like. Here's some footage here if I have it. And yeah, it looks slightly similar to a cluster bomb. So what I'm thinking is Fuse has a little tactical like Bangalore where he just shoots the field full of... I'm assuming he's going to have one charge of it. Because remember when Revenant had one charge, it, you know, it, it makes sense he would have one. I think he's going to shoot that and it's going to do like maybe... Maybe like one damage per second, you know? Cause I mean, it would make, you know, because it'd be overpowering if it was like fucking, what, 20, 10? I think it's going to do, uh, I think it's going to do like one damage a second or something like that. Pro and I'm assuming that if it does that, it's going to be one of those abilities where it's supposed to freak out the enemy and get them scattering, you know? Because what better way to take out a team when they're scattered? Or at least when they have one person leaving the, uh, you know, leaving the flock. So that's what I think it is. 
And who knows, maybe it'll do more like uh, mess with their screen or something. Yeah, but then again, it's too overpowering. So yeah, that's what I think it's going to be. As for his ultimate, I thought it was the Archer. If you guys don't know what the Archer is, I use it a lot in Titanfall. It's, it's fucking a rocket launcher, basically. It tracks the Titan. It's one of the most powerful Titan weapons next to, I think, the Charger Rifle. Yeah, because the Charger Rifle was in Titan. So yeah, I thought that was an Archer, but it wasn't. His ultimate just looks like a... It doesn't look as powerful as Gibraltar's, that's for sure. Yeah, that one, that one looks pretty cool, but it doesn't look like you could shoot it very far. It looks like something close quarters, like you'd want to get to the high ground and just, you know, like, for example, get on top of the the uh, the bridge. Like, okay, you know that spot out there, uh, the cage? Like, say you're on top of the cage and, you you know, there's a team right down there just... You know. And uh, his, his little arm, it looks like... I think that's just for uh, for looks. I don't think he's going to be able to... That doesn't do anything special. Because he shoots an arc star out of his arm. I don't think that's something, you know, game-changing. I think that's just, you know, just for looks. You know, like a heirloom kind of thing. So I don't think it does anything special. But, you know, being able to shoot it differently. In fact, I think he's going to have a passive where he can carry extra grenades. Kind of like how Watson is able to... Well, it's not really a passive, but, you know, it's a little ability. I Like, Watson's able to hold uh, two ultimate accelerants. He's the only one that can do that. I think he's going to be able to hold two grenades in, you know, in one slot. I mean, I think that'd be something cool for him to have because, you know, he likes grenades, obviously. <laughs> we saw the trailer. And his name is Fuse. Bomb expert, right? So, I think it'd be cool for him to use that. You know, I wish they brought the statue charges. That would have been cool to have. It's overpowering. I get it. But, you know, you can't throw those very far anyways. So, eh. But, yeah, that's my view on Fuse. Can't wait to main him. He's he's going to be pretty sick. But I don't think he's going to be that good. I think he's going to just be another uh, another Rampart. You know, he looked cool at first. But, eh, wasn't that great. But, hey, I love me Rampart. And I got to do Ooh, I had dreams about her. <laughs> anyways. See you guys on that next trailer that should be coming out soon when they show us this gameplay. Hope I was right about it.